Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would make a short video on how I use Prusa Slicer uh, for auto supports in my resin printing. I used to use Chitubox and it was literally an utter disaster. I either had failed prints because I did not use enough supports or I had so many supports because I was afraid of failed prints that the supports would just fuse together and it was just an utter nightmare. There was pitting all over my models or the supports were so hard to get off because they were all fused together. It was just a nightmare. So, um, one of my friends in the 3D printing model marketplace group said, Hey, use the Prusa slicer auto supports. So I tried it and I've never looked back. I've not had a single failed print since I started using it. And, uh, I'm a huge advocate. So I thought I would make this video to let everybody know how to use it because that's a whole lot easier than trying to explain that in a Facebook message. So what we're going to do is go up here to the little box. You can also click on file and import, but it's just as easy to go to the little box and uh, go to your file. I'm just going to go to the most recent file that I've printed was the Black Widow Mop file from Mega and let's pick our torso. This is one that I've already hollowed. I do hollow in Chitu Box. Uh, you can hollow in Prusa Slicer, but uh, I just find that it's easier in Chitu Box, uh, more accurate, and uh, I just do it there. So here is the file, and I try to go ahead and orient how I mostly want to orient the files. Heads I usually print upside down and uh, you know I want to lean most things back because you never want any supports on the front of your model if you can help it. Uh, I don't want any support showing on any part of the model if I can help it. So let's go ahead and try to auto support and see what this does. Your auto support feature is right here. Let's click that. You'll get a little pop-up box. My computer is going to run a little slow because I'm running OSB. Right here you're going to click on auto generate points. You'll see down here it says slicing model, generating support points, And yours will go a little faster than this. Okay, here is our supports. Um, I also should tell you, left click and hold is your plane view. A right click and hold moves your build plate around. This model would print like this, but I find with resin, you're going to get a little bit of sagging if you don't put some points on everywhere so what you're going to do is manual editing and just add you a few around these edges you're not putting too much supports these are not anywhere close to being where they're going to fuse together I do tend to over support things but and I do get sharp corners um, just because I want those corners to to print we'll get that and we'll get that and then right here we can add a support 
here and see we've got enough supports now this right here this is not an island so we can move this support down here off of our model and now we have zero supports on our model let's go ahead and put one right here we have zero supports on our model no cleanup absolutely no cleanup that we're going to have to do all right so we're going to click apply changes and now this is what our support tree looks like the thing with with prusa supports even though this looks like a lot of supports these i don't know if you've seen my time lapse videos these little points are so small they literally fall off it it's amazing you you're gonna love auto supports and prusa slicer all right when you have this done we are going to do nothing else in prusa slicer we are going to go up here to file export export plate as STL including supports we're going to save our file as whatever we can remember it as I usually save it as and then we're going to do it as demo here because I've got one already saved and then we're good we're finished with Prusa so now what we're going to do is pull our file into Chitu box and do nothing but slice because if you move this file around if you reorient it if you raise it lower it rotate it scale it do anything to it it's going to try to put another pad under there and then you're going to have a failed print so you do nothing but slice it and if you want to check it I normally don't even have to do this I'm that confident and my supports and then you save it save it to your flash drive I obviously don't have a flash drive in there but and print that's it it is that easy I wanted to do a little edit because I know I said when you bring it into bring your model into Chitu box don't rotate it um, what I mean by don't rotate is don't uh, don't turn it on the axis that will tilt it um, before I got my bed set up correctly I would pull in a model and uh, oh, let's pull in one that took up a whole build plate um, I would pull in my model and my build plate in Prusa Slicer was set up where when I pulled it into Chitu Box, it was oriented this way. So as long as you only turn it on the, I think this is the Y axis, no, yes. I don't know why this is saying that this is the Z axis. I'm pretty sure the Z is up and down but um, as long as you're not pulling this raft off of the build plate you're gonna be okay um, because that's where you get it you get into the trouble of messing up your supports um, you, you know what I mean your resin printing you know what I'm talking about your raft is not touching your build plate 
you can turn it on this axis whatever direction you need to to get it to fit onto your build plate if you need to turn it uh, to make sure that that it's on there then there you go and then you slice your file and you're and you're good all right if you want me to make a video on how to set up your build plate to match your build plate in Chichu box I can do that um, because Prusa slicer is obviously uh, geared towards Prusa printers I have all of my AnyCubic printers set up in here it's literally you just click on settings and you set your bed shape it's that simple that simple um, I can make a whole video on that if you want me to if if so just leave me some comments and uh, I can do that otherwise there you go that simple if you have any questions or concerns or whatever leave me a comment um, I appreciate you watching I would really appreciate a like or a subscribe or both and have a great day you guys are awesome stay awesome and thanks for watching